a <clears throat> so I've shared with you guys what detrimental pain I'm currently in. Not only that, the negative situation I'm in. I'm gonna embrace this. I will live. I will survive it. I always oh my god, but I'm not kidding, this freaking hurts. I have a doctor's appointment in the morning. I guess I'm gonna have to hand wash me some pants because ain't nobody else gonna do it for me. Um can we get somebody to take me to the laundry mat? I'm between caregivers. I gotta be at this appointment. At 8.30 in the morning. And I don't even get to see the doctor. I'm seeing. Oh pardon me. A nurse practitioner. Um. It is my intention. With the Margellans. And being aware of. The false negative. Of the Lyme results. Is to see. If I can get. A testing on that and to um, also see if there's any way I, I don't know on the DNA thing the, the triple helix to see if you're going from double strand to triple with the um, superhuman transhumanism agenda that's something I do want to inquire about as well as mention my headaches etc hmm um, I'm doing my best to pull a mind over matter right now. I'm not kidding when I say this hurts. Um, 8.30 in the morning will come early, but I have a feeling I won't even sleep tonight. The doctor's office in itself always <laughs> seems to cause me a lot of anxiety and then the tooth pain on top of it. So, if at all possible, I'm going to charge my phone and try to sing for a while, if I can. Um, you know, singing is what's genuinely always pulled me through. And that's what I'm hoping will do it now as well. Um, you know... The Morgellons in itself is so horrific and frightening that if you don't choose to look at it in some other form, it will tear you down. It truly will. Same thing with the Lyme alone. Those two diseases in themselves, but they go hand in hand. And realize this is something I've even explained to the doctor. Morgellons is the primary disease, so the Lyme is the secondary. If you cannot treat the primary, the secondary one stays in place. And that's really what happens. And with the false negative of the Lyme, chances are I, I do still have the Lyme. And it's not that I don't fail, or that I fail to recognize that fact. I am very fully aware of this. It's just my approach and perspective on it that changed. I choose not to feed into the nature of these diseases and what they do. Even though the implications are great and they're very painful. Which I will never diminish what they can do. Never. And it's not that I'm not suffering. Maybe I've been through so much pain. I've just learned to, you know, you get a certain threshold of pain, you learn to cope with. And this is really no different. And that's true for my back. It's true for the Margellans. It's true for my teeth right now. <laughs> it's detrimental, dire pain. I want to scream. I want to bite somebody. I don't know. I want to do anything. I want to numb myself, but it freaking hurts. I want to scream. I want to bite down on something. I want to wish it away. I don't think it's going anywhere. So, it's like the back pain. You know, they ask you on the scale 1 to 10. My deal is always a 10 plus. Is it really, is that bad? 
And I'm tough. I'm tough. But this fucking hurts. I apologize for my language. But it fucking hurts. Let me say it again. It fucking hurts. I'm hoping that'll make me feel better. Because I am a fucking warrior. But this fucking hurts. You know, sometimes it's hard for me to find compassion in others for what I feel is mediocre in comparison to some of the pain that I endure in on a daily basis. And it's not because I have no sympathy nor compassion. Sometimes I feel people are wusses. I, I feel they're wusses. Because when you get accustomed to going through such a great deal of pain on a daily basis, you learn to survive it. You learn to deal with it no matter how painful. And I'm not kidding you when I say this fucking hurts. And I don't have somebody to kiss my owies. I don't have somebody to hug me through it or assure me that it's going to be okay. It's simply me. So please excuse my profanity and my vulgarity when I tell you this fucking hurts. Pardon me. But it's because I don't have anybody that gives a fuck. You want this? 